Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Thrifty Thursday. Last week we had a special guest who helped us learn how to draw an eight head person, which was really cool. And he said that he would come back and help us again. So this week we're gonna learn how costume designers draw faces of people and hair to fit a costume design or to fit a character. So draw along with us. This week we have Richard St. Clair, who is the costume design head at Penn State University, one of my professors. Uh, he's designed across mediums in theater and on TV and in movies. So here we go. Get your pencils out. It's time to learn how to draw faces. Richard? Here we go. Last week we did the eight head tall figure, and this week we're gonna draw faces. So this is a very simple face that you can do, and you can add your own different hairstyles or facial features and face shapes. So what I'm gonna teach you is very, very basic. And again, it, it kind of works, it operates on the idea of starting with a geometric shape. So I'm gonna turn my computer to my chalkboard. Okay, so remember our beautiful oval shape that we started with last time that looks like an upside down egg? So it's wider at the top and comes to a, some, a soft point at the bottom, right? So I'm gonna draw a bigger one now. Oh, okay, so there's my there's my oval. So I'm going to divide this. I'm going to work a little lighter on my chalk into equal quarters as much as I can. And if you're working, if you start in pencil, you can erase these lines later, like we were, we erased our tick marks tick marks for our eight heads. So now I'm going to start by drawing an eye. Now, if you kind and actually, if you have a hand mirror or you're near a mirror, this might help. But basically your eye, the, the space in between your eyes is the width of one eye. So I'm gonna draw my two eyes in. And see if I take my eye, see that's the width of an eye in between. And I don't wanna draw them so big that it looks like a certain 80s Disney princess with red hair. I wanna make them a little more um, human proportions. And then I can draw in A semicircle for my iris and a smaller circle for my pupil. So there's my eyes. So now above my eye, I'm gonna do just an indication of an eyelid here, okay? And then I'm gonna draw in my nice eyebrow arching up above that. So everything's sort of like all lined up. Now, from my eyebrow, actually, Feel your eyebrows, go across your eyebrows. If you go down from your eyebrows across your face, they go right down into, and you can continue down from your eyebrow right down your nose ridge. So we're gonna touch our face a lot during this exercise. So wash your hands first. Um, so I'm gonna go down from here, and down from here, and then finish that off with a nice little round. And now I can draw two almost circles on the side to be my nostrils. And as I go, I'll sort of mush some of this out of the way. There we go. So there is my nose coming down from my eyebrows. Now, under your nose, feel, and you have these two little lines that go down to your upper lip, which is called the philtrum. And so I'm gonna draw like a little, loop under there. And now below my philtrum loop, I'm gonna draw my lip line. So I'm gonna make this one like a slight, smite, sm a slight smile. I'm not gonna get all fancy or anything. And then from there, going up to my philtrum, I can draw the top portion of my upper lip. And then from the corners of my upper lip, I can draw in the lower lip. And you wanna make sure you leave enough room for the chin under here. And if you feel your chin, it, it almost feels like a circle in there. So I'm gonna, you don't necessarily need to draw this, but there's your chin right in there. So you wanna leave enough room for everything. Now, 
your ears, if you look in a mirror, your ears come slightly above your eye line and slightly below. So we're seeing them front on. So I'm just making little rectangles out the side. And now from here, I can draw my neck off of there. And then the fun part is you, you want to draw in a nice hairline. And we'll take our hair off of that. So let's see, I'm going to put a part in here and I'm going to do some kind of fabulous hairdo here. This is probably a girl figure because see how soft the jawline is? You observe girls versus boys, um, their jaws are rounder and softer. If we want to make a boy, we might want to make a slightly squarer jaw, jawline here, which will look more like a guy. So now I'm going to continue my flowing hair here. Maybe she has some fabulous chandelier earrings going on. Fabulous being the key word. You can always add some jewelry. So here, yeah, she's got a lovely pearl necklace. But you can get creative with that way on the rest of this. But there in a couple minutes, you have a real basic human scale face. So I also have some other examples I tried. So talking about my square jawline. So here's a guy and see like his jaw is a little more square. Of course, he has shorter hair coming off the hairline. Here's Here's a girl who has more texture to her hair. So, look, it comes with magnets. Um, so, so I just, you know, did a more little scritchy scribbly lines and gave her little curls on her bangs. So with a lot of creativity, you can make all different kinds of faces and all different kinds of hairstyles. So there you go. There's our basic face for the day. Have a great time. Bye.